everyone, I'm Susan Brown and I direct the Center for Better Bones in East Syracuse, New York. Today I have a confession to make to you, and that is I'm sort of a gadget person. When it comes to exercise, I really like to do less and accomplish more. Therefore, we at the Center have been experimenting with these weight vests. They're really neat vests you can put right on and wear to give you extra weight when you walk, when you do exercise, when you do our exercise DVD. Extremely excellent. You start out with very small weights, you build up a nice, safe, effective way to help maximize your bone building program, actually doing less and accomplish more. The other gadget we use here at the Center for Better Bones is called an osteo ball. Here is the osteo ball. This was developed by researchers who wanted to develop a way you could exercise the muscles, have actually the tendons pull on the bone without hurting the joints. And so, for people with arthritis or who don't want to uh, work their joints too much, they develop this resistance exercise. A very nice, in 10 minutes, you can exercise your upper body, your lower body. It comes with a little DVD with these 10 simple exercises. I like the osteo ball a lot. I like the weight vest a lot. Today I'm going to talk to you about another gadget I've been studying for many years. Actually, I've had the opportunity to speak with many of the researchers around the world who are developing these machines. This is whole body vibration. They're machines that actually have a vibrating platform, and when you stand on them, your body vibrates. And what it does is it causes the muscles to fire and contract very rapidly, maybe 32, 35 times a second, has found to be particularly helpful for bone. So it's a way to stimulate the muscles, to exercise the muscles by doing very little strenuous activity. You simply stand on a platform. There are many types of vibration platforms. Some of them will give you a lot of up and down motion, and so you really feel a strong vibration. Others will give you very small up and down motion. The point is that what I want to do is just to show you these machines, just to begin learning about them. There's lots of types, and this kind of exercise may not be for everyone. Some people do not like that feeling of vibration. I think we're going to see in the future that there'll be some medical devices developed like this that give you very, very little vibration, but they still cause the muscles to fire. I happen to like a, a machine that gives you a little more vibration because you can build a little bit better muscle mass. Um, so let me just uh, show you a little bit about this machine we're using here. So for many years I've been looking at whole body vibration and there's many, many studies now showing that you can build muscle and build bone if you have the right protocol of exercise using these devices. This is the machine we have decided to use, the one we find to be best to date, the hypergravity machine. And it's quite simple. You set a time that you want, you can set the hertz, you can adjust. Generally with bone health, it's like a 32 to 34 hertz, that is, means 32 to 34 times a second, your muscles fire and release. And so that's generally the most bone building hertz that they found. So you can set it for the hertz you want. You generally start out with lower hertz because it's a little less strenuous. And then you work it up to maybe the 34, 35 hertz. The interesting thing about these devices is you only have to exercise a few minutes to achieve what would be much longer times in the gym. Some people estimate 15 minutes equivalent to an hour in the gym sometimes 20 minutes. With these machines, you take a little bit of vibration training, then you rest for a minute. So it's not, it's not very strenuous, but it's intense when you do it. So I'm gonna just show you how you use this machine. In the first place, I would say that if you are sensitive to vibration, if you don't want too much vibration, you can put a, plat, a pillow or a pad down like this. That helps to modify the vibration. And then, you always wear, you know, good gym shoes. You stand on the platform. A good platform will have a safety handrail, so you can be safe with it. And you might start out just standing, but eventually you're going to want to do squats, maybe even do one-legged squats, because those will really enhance the ability to train. Some people even use weights. You can actually take your weights and use those while you're on the platform. That's certainly for more advanced training. But for the average person thinking about bone health, you simply stand on the platform, you always bend your knees because you don't want that vibration going all the way up the spinal cord. You bend your knees, which absorbs the vibration, and you put the setting on low settings and you work up. You'll find that the muscles get exhausted very quickly. It's really a way to do less and accomplish more as far as building muscle and building bone. Let me just show you how this works. So we set it. I'm going to set it um, for 32 hertz because that's the best for bone, 34 hertz. 
I'm going to set the timer. The timers are like for one minute, two minutes. You do not do these for long periods of time at once. Set the timer. And then I get on the machine. And then I just simply do the, I'm going to face you. It's easy enough. You know, you, you might start just in a standing position with your knees bent. You might do this for 30 seconds. Get off, do a little relaxation. After you're more familiar, you might actually do some squats. You might actually do some, eventually you'll find you're gonna do, put all your weight on one leg. You might experiment with these modalities. But first, what we simply do is stand, get used to the vibration, and slowly work up to exercise on it. These platforms have been used by athletes for years. They were developed for astronauts by the Russians, so you wouldn't lose so much bone in space. Um, it's not for everyone, like I say, but if you're the kind of person that likes to try to build muscle um, at the same time you build bone, this is a great modality that doesn't take a lot of time. So if you're interested in whole body vibration, feel free to call our office, call the Center for Better Bones, and we'll explain to you the qualities of this machine, and I'll also give you our protocol, the protocol we're developing so you can use these vibration machines in the best possible way to build bone and to build muscle. Thanks a lot, and I wish you lifelong healthy bones.